But here, look at Exodus 17, 16. It says, for he said, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. It says the Lord will have war, which means the Lord who is the one who initiates the battle. The Lord is the one who initiates the battle. But here's the thing. Whenever there are wars on earth, it's because there's a war that's going on in heaven. Just like Moses' tabernacle was patterned after the one in the heavens, the wars we see going on here are because there's wars going on in the heavens. Now, it says it's going to happen in every generation there will be an Amalek who wants to destroy Israel, which is why the Lord is always having war with Amalek. Well, I believe this generation's war with Amalek will occur the spring of 2024 through the spring of 2025 next year. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why. There's a couple of wars that haven't taken place yet. One of them is Isaiah 17. We're going to go over that. The other one is Psalm 83. Now, we know from Ecclesiastes 3.8, there's a time of what? And a time of peace. But if we think it's a time of peace, just like in Israel, they're going to be attacked and not realizing there's a war. Do you think they'd be doing that if they knew what was going to happen? Uh, as I said, there are prophetic wars that are still to take place. The Psalm 83 war, the Isaiah 17, and I believe there will be a final war with Amalek. It'll be the final one because then the Messiah returns. Then there's the Ezekiel 38 and the Zechariah 12 through 14. Now, if you look at your notes, Psalms 83, one through five, this is one of the wars yet to take place. It says, oh God, don't keep quiet. Let your lips be open and take no rest, O God. And first, look, those who make war on you are out of control. Your haters are lifting up their heads. They have made wise designs against your people, talking together against those whom you keep in a secret place. And look at what they've said. Come, let us put an end to them as a nation so that the name of Israel may go out of man's memory. For they have all come to an agreement. They are all joined together against you. Now, I saw an article uh, this last week where one of the Hamas leaders says our goal has been to eliminate Israel from the beginning. That is their goal. Now, look at the next verses. It says in Psalm 83, 6 to 8, these are the countries that want to wipe out Israel as a nation. The, <clears throat> the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarines, those are the ones who came from Hagar, uh, Gebal, Ammon, and who else? Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. 